if this person was a monk, he would be the most hated monk on the planet. I, I decided, because we're getting close to the launch of Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3, so, you know, I'm wrapping up with some, just dancing around with some ideas, and I thought, you know what, I'm going to combine two ideas that I do, and if any of you know, I don't just play games like everyone else. I find that boring, and frankly, it's about entertaining you guys. And that's why I do what I do, like the Zen Master, I walk around, there's no point in it, it doesn't show any crazy amount of skill, it's just kind of amusing to watch. Same thing with the Hated series, which is going around with noob tubes, noob tubes, uh, 1887s, all of the weapons, perks, and everything that people hated. I, I did a series at one point in Modern Warfare 2 called the Hated series, and some of you actually, I actually responded very well to it, you loved it, because... It reminded you of, of all that hate. It was like, yes, I did hate that. I friggin' absolutely hated that. So I combined two, which is the calmness of Zen, which is no running around, not allowed to run anywhere, and then also using noob tubes and danger close and one-man army. These are absolutely hated combos. People, you know, this is a good reason. This combination here is a good reason why people left. So I thought I would combine the two. And it's all about entertainment, but... I do want to know, you know, with Modern Warfare 3 coming up, all the same things can be applied. I mean, I want to do Search and Destroy, which some of you rage on because I can't, but, you know, after two and a half years, I don't really care. I can play Search and Destroy, and the reason why I play it is because I play it more tactically. I don't go running out there, I'm not there to amuse you when I do Search and Destroy. When I do other uh, game types, which is like Free For All, Deathmatch, that sort of thing, like, which is what we're doing here. It's all about entertaining. I don't want to just sh run around and owning people with, you know, a P90 or the UMP or whatever it happens to be, you know, the SCAR. What I want to do is bring you something fresh, something new to actually entertain you. And that's usually when I do stuff like this. Joker, the Hated series, Zen Master, Agency, when I just use um, handguns only. So, you know, I, I want to know. I want to know your feedback, what you expect, what you want to see when Modern Warfare 3 comes out. Because I love doing these sort of things. They amuse, they not just amuse you, but they amuse me, which makes it easy for me to actually produce videos for it. Rather than, you know, oh my god, well, I gotta win this and talk about where I ran. I know that's NGT Roots, and I will do that with Search and Destroy. Despite the fact that I get a lot of hate, I promise you that the strategies and what I show you for Search and Destroy, even though people rage on it and it's not everyone's cup of tea, will help you win games. I mean, I've proven year after year that my Claymore and explosive bouncing Betty skills, you know, I produce more than probably 50 to 60%, at least 50%, I don't know what the percentage is, like 63.5%. 50% of my kills at least in Search and Destroy always come from uh, either Claymores or Bettys. And I've seen atrocious uh, Claymore placement, people still don't know how to use them properly. A simple, simple device, and everyone's like, oh yeah, they're really easy to use, but so many times I'm able to avoid claymores, and I'm not talking about using uh, Hacker, Hacker Pro, or anything like that. I'm talking about placing it in a strategic spot, either with canisters, explosives, explosive barrels, in, in sort of creative areas that people don't necessarily expect a claymore, but are actually near choke points. These are all things that you can learn, but you know, you'd think that everybody would do them, but they don't. And that's where I come in and I like doing that sort of thing. I like showing you what from, you know, because this is my job. You guys got school, you got work, you know, you've got, you've got life. And my life, basically, well, my job is to play this 24-7 and figure out these places so that when you come home, it's not that you couldn't figure it out on your own, but it certainly does help accelerate your, your process so that when you're in these games, oh, look at this, I can't believe I missed that. I think there's two guys right here, look. Oh, <laughs> I don't even know how I missed that other guy. It was like right in between, I was like, yes, a double, and I got ripped off. I think I get a triple later on too as I'm coming through because I hit him just at the spawn point. It was friggin' awesome. Anyway, um, so I want to know. I mean, for those of you that have watched the videos over a long period of time, oh, oh, yes, delicious. You know, what do you want to see in Modern Warfare 3? Do you want to see the Hated series? Do you want to see more Zen Master? Do you want to see Agency? Do you want to see something fresh and new? I would personally like to be able to provide you with. Um, you know, and I'm not giving any guarantees. We did that with Black Ops. I hated Black Ops. It was a big disappointment for me. And I wasn't able to produce the videos that we said we were going to cover. And that's disappointing. I don't want to give you false promises. You know I don't mind the, the hated series. You know I'll continue to play Agency, 
uh, claymore guides, no problem. I want to know what you want to see from me. In terms of something fresh, something new, you don't ever have to worry about that. I'm always looking for something that I can, I can switch up, something to bring you that you've never seen before, it's something that the other directors don't bring you. I mean, that's what it's all about. It's about entertainment. But at the same time, the core of NGT has always been tactics. That's why tactics is in our name. However, once we get those original videos out, people are like, oh, you don't do them anymore. Well, after the first few tactics, like, I mean, if we're spider bites, rushes, my sort of camping, whatever, we'll call it camping, because essentially that's what it is, and I, I've come to grips with that. But I mean, once we've shown you those strategies, and really our specialty is search and destroy. I can show you free for all uh, as well, so I'll try and do that in Modern Warfare 3. Free for all strategies like maps, places to go, how to sort of locate yourself, how to use Bettys and Claymores in conjunction with knowing the maps and that stuff. But I mean, outside of that, you know, that's going to end in a, in a couple of months. And then I got to look at the rest of the year of how to entertain you. So what is it that you want? You know what I mean? I can mix one in once in a while, tease you a little bit, give you a little bit of a agency one. I love it. Agency, by the way, was created because I'm not the fastest you know, 1v1 person, but I have a, you know, without sounding egotistical, I have a mean ass trigger finger. I'm very, very quick with it. Maybe it's my teenage years of friggin' putting a shine on the big lad. I don't know what, what caused it, but, you know, actually, to be, to be quite honest, I'll tell you right now, you know what it's caused by? Atari 2600, Decathlon, playing those games, and even Nintendo, mashing those buttons as fast as you can. You know those games where you had to press the button as fast as possible? Well, I learned to actually press it incredibly quick during those days, and that sort of has just stayed with me and has benefited me with, with uh, semi-automatic weapons, like the FAL, you know, handguns. Just, it allowed me to use them in ways that the developers usually accuse you of uh, using turbo. Which was kind of a big disappointment with Black Ops, because they put that limiter on it. So if you fire too fast, it was like, nah, nah, that's turbo controller. No, that's great and everything, and I felt, yeah, right, I rocked that thing so friggin' fast it limited me, but so many times I'd be in a 1v1 situation, and boom, you know, my weapon would lock up on me and I'd end up getting owned, and I was like, you know what, this is just frustrating. I'm getting punished because I have a skill, you know, like people have quick scoping, whether you like it or not, some of them are incredibly good. So anyway, let me know in the comments, or actually on Twitter. Look uh, below, you'll see Spider Bites in my Twitter uh, links. Go on Twitter and please give me feedback uh, in terms of what you want to see from Modern Warfare 3. What kind of entertaining videos. I'll do the strategies for Search and Destroy, Free For All, and possibly uh, Deathmatch, but I want to know what kind of entertaining videos you want. Please give me feedback. Thanks, hope you enjoyed the video. Did you like this video? If you did, check out a couple of these here on the left on NGT Minecraft. Spiderbite, me wagon, and myself are playing a little bit of Minecraft in our 1.8 server that we're testing out, seeing what's new. And on the right, on the gun shop, this is the LA Gamers Abroad teaser trailer for our trip to LA in COD XP. Guys, be sure to click the corresponding thumbnails to watch the videos, and be sure to subscribe to NGT Minecraft and the gun shop for more videos.